Well, it's kind of interesting, my introduction to Coach Shula. It really started with my sister, uh, who's two years younger than me. Uh, she shares the same birthday as uh, Coach Shula, uh, who was born on January 4th, 1930. Uh, my sister was obviously born a little bit later, January 4th, 1979. Um, so uh, she actually grew up a Dolphins fan. And uh, because she shared the same birthday with Don Shula. Um, so when we were kids, uh, you know, obviously you, you guys have heard me talk before. My father, you know, he's a, he's a high school football and baseball coach and he's been coaching football for over 40 years. Uh, you know, I had a Ken Anderson poster on my door and my sister had a Bob Greasy poster on, on her door. Um, and it just so happened, you know, growing up in Ohio, uh, Don Shula was an Ohio guy. Um, you know, went to Harvey High School in Painesville, which is just a suburb of Cleveland. Uh, he went to John Carroll University, which uh, was in the same conference as Muskingum College, where I went to school. And um, so, you know, every time that we traveled to John Carroll, you'd see, you know, the Don Shula uh, athletic facility there at John Carroll. Uh, and then I think, you know, the historian part of me really loves uh, Coach Shula's story uh, because obviously – he was uh, drafted in the ninth round by the Cleveland Browns. Uh, he played halfback at John Carroll. And then it, uh, Paul Brown ended up uh, moving him to defensive back. And, uh, you know, which, and then obviously Coach Shula had a defensive background from, from there on out. But really, you know, when you look at Paul Brown's legacy and the number of people that, you know, that he's had a hand on, and obviously, you know, Chuck Knoll, was there too, which Coach Shula, uh, you know, coached with Chuck Knoll as well. And, you know, those are two Hall of Fame coaches. And interestingly, uh, Coach Shula was uh, inducted into the Hall of, uh, Pro Football Hall of Fame in 1997. That's the same year my sister graduated. So, um, you know, there, there was a little bit of characteristics there. And then I would just say, you know, Coach Shula's ability um, to maintain, uh, you know, winning seasons – I, I believe in his coaching career, he only had two, two losing seasons. And I, I know he was very successful with the Colts. He was very successful here in Miami. And then obviously he really spent, um, you know, even when he was done coaching, he spent, uh, you know, about 50 years in the Miami organization. So uh, I think it's awesome uh, that they would celebrate his life and uh, his legacy to pro football, his legacy to the Miami Dolphins. And obviously there's not enough good things that you could say about him. It's just kind of an interesting fact that, you know, my introduction to him basically started with my sister having the same birthday. 